Hey folks, welcome to another episode of PCG News where we cover paper games, paper computer games, and anything from the universe of paper computer games. We've got a lot of stories to cover, so let's get to it. Can you hear me now? Uh, I think you can probably hear me now. Okay. <laughs> Hi, folks. <laughs> um, whew, what an adventure. What a night. Thank you all for being here. I apologize for all the technical difficulties. What a freaking... You know, first the internet. <laughs> the mic wouldn't work. Uh, I restarted my computer. I restarted the... The modem. Ugh, it took me a whole half hour to get this 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 nonsense working, but yeah. Hi Via. Hi hi Epic Worlds. Hi Salmon on the Fish PCG. Epic Worlds says you pulled it off, Zach. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh yeah. Um yeah, finally. Um, okay, let's actually let's let's like get some uh, background music all up in here while I you know, uh do that stuff. I had like I had this all nicely set up, but then I had to restart the computer, so you know, no, uh, no luck there, I guess. Um, wait, wrong thing. Let's, I want comedic. Let's do ghost town. Pardon me as well as dark hallway. And then I wanted some documentary. The documentaries. As well as four documentary. Repeat the playlist. All right, we're good. We're good for now. Hello, folks. Okay. Via says, "Oh no." Well, good. You made it work. Yeah, I know. I did indeed make it work. Um. So, are we reacting the vids? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um. I, I don't. I don't have anything else planned. But, you know, it has. Uh, it has. You know, it has quite been a while, hasn't it? You know. Um. Things have been crazy. Um. I've been very busy with work, and when I haven't been busy with work, I've had lots and lots of plans with friends. Um, yeah, so um, I've been wanting to stream very badly. I've had, I've also wanted, been wanting to make videos. I've had lots of ideas. I started filming a video actually, and not for this channel, but for the the other channel, like my 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 my, my Zach channel. You know, um, I think I want to do more with that channel as well. Like, because, you know, I mean, not to say I'm moving away from this channel. I'm definitely not. I just, like, you know, sometimes you want to make a video that's not PCG related, you know? Like, just every now and then you just have an idea for one and you feel like, man, I could make that video. But then you can't put it on your PCG channel because it's not a PCG video, you know? It's, it's, it's weird. Via says, see, that's what happens when you abandon the channel for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, you know, look, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to keep up with everything. It's hard. It's hard. Life is hard. <sighs> Doing my best, you guys. All right. So what do we got to react to? Epic Worlds, I'm sure you want me to uh, re react to some of your stuff. You've got some new cool videos, so let's take a peek. We'll start with, we'll start there. Um, is Let's see what you got, Epic Worlds. Let's check out videos you got new pcg ancient tunnels number two. Ooh, i haven't even seen ancient tunnels number one that's pretty sweet um epic world says it's only two weeks it's not like you missed a month this is true this is true L listen you know i've just been so like busy with stuff i just lose track of time the few times i haven't been busy i've just been like catatonic <laughs> like there's like there was a period of a few days where I'm like yeah all right I finally have a few days I'm gonna I'm gonna do PCG stuff and then like and then I you know wake up with like a hangover and I can't like I'm so like bleh, I can't like not a hangover because I wasn't drinking just like a sleep hangover I didn't sleep good um, 
Let's see. Uh, Salmon says, hey, sometimes you got to take priorities making a living before making some PCG. Yeah, yeah, it's true. As, uh, that is true. The sad state of affairs. Um, I do have a pretty cool job, but sometimes it does uh, it does demand a lot of me. Um, Epic World says, hey, you have seen Ancient Tunnels PCG number one? I have? I guess I'm forgetting which one that is. You reacted to it? Oh, okay. All right. That's, uh, it's, it's been a while then. Um, well, maybe I should, like, like, looks like new, uh, Dragon's Pyramid is the first one I have not seen. So let's start with that one, I guess. Also, it's short, so, you know, why not? Hey guys, Epic World's PCG. Today, I'm going to be showing you yet another PCG. This one is called the Dragon's Pyramid, and it's pretty cool because I've been using different markers, like, um, these ones and just different like brush pens to make my PCG. So this is kind of an experimental one with that. But yeah, this is a really fun PCG. It includes dragons and stuff like that, dungeons. Um, this is Pinchback. Dragons and dungeons, an interesting combination. Epic World says, you have not seen three keys, but it's super long so you don't have to react to it if you don't want to. Uh, yeah, I definitely will at some point react to it. Um, but maybe not right this second let's let's just start with a few short ones and see how how it ends up someone says yo i love markers yeah markers the bomb yeah, yo the bomb cool. diggity yeah. that's like some 90s slang for you right there he is being starred in this pcg so. <laughs> first page you as pinchback has just come from one of your oh hey adventures and you have wait you, wait a second but yeah, this is not a start. pinch oh it is a pinchback game look there's pinchback right on the cover but why is it not called like Pinchvac number number five or whatever number we're up to right now? First page, you as Pinchvac has just come from one of your previous adventures, and you have like just decided to go on an adventure, and this guy's named Timmy is just like helping you get there. So you guys okay. on your carriage are going up to the pyramid. Via says, "I wonder how long it's been since I haven't made any PCGs." Like. Pardon me. Like 10 years. 10. If not 15. Via says, def more than six months, about maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Epic World says, this is just a sub pinchback game. Does not tie to the story. Ah, okay. So just like a, a minor, you know, like a side installment. Gotcha. So it's like a road going up to a cliff with a pyramid on it. It's pretty cool. But yeah. That is pretty this, cool. Uh, PCG is set on the planet KZ67, which is pretty cool. KZ67. Yeah, is that yeah. an actual uh is that a is that a real planet? Like I normally would never ask. It's just that like since it became a thing in uh, the Clouded Hope series to put to make stuff happen on actual exoplanets, now I have to google it. KZ67. Uh exoplanet I see Kepler 67, but that's not it. Oh, <laughs> Big World says no, KZ 67 is in my universe. Okay, okay, had to ask. Um, Via says 10 to 15 years in PCG time. <laughs> Someone says jump scare. Ah! <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do this. You're at the front door of the pyramid, it opens. And then you actually enter. So these are like like gelatinous beings. They're on the PCG wiki. I forgot what they're called, but they have like human body parts sticking out of them. And wait, are they zoo chompers? Or are they like a new gelatinous thing on the PCG wiki? Let's find out. We are going to the PCG wiki. Gelatinous thing. Let's find out what it. The only thing that comes up is zoo chomper. Could these be zoo chompers? Epic World says yes, zoo chompers. Yes, the the glorious return of the zoo chompers, dude. We haven't seen any zoo chompers since like since the era when like Kurt was actually part of the PCG community, which is you know before the YouTube channel, before there was a PCG community basically. Um, but yeah, he created lots and lots of different types 
of zoo chompers. This is like a table of all the types of zoo chompers. Zoo chompers, for those not in the know, are like these basically like these guys. They are, um, they're gelatinous, like they're partially transparent. They're, most of them are yellow, but there's other colors as well. This one, this is like a 3D model of it, conveys that it's actually partially transparent. Because Kurt made it in his video game, Amazing Island. Um,. Like it was, it was created for PCGs, but he tried to recreate it in Amazing Island. Someone says, "Wow, Zach got it first guess." Yes, <laughs> I know my PCGs, yo. Empty <laughs> World says, "Yeah, very impressive. Thank you." Anyway, uh, yeah, it's 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 cool to see uh, the the uh, Zoo Chompers come back. Comments are turned off. Why? I would have I would I would have commented. But I can still like <laughs> small comforts, small comforts. There's at least a description though. You play as Pinchback, and you have to explore what is hidden within the ancient pyramid. It takes place on planet KZ67. Feel free to check out my trading card game channel for more cool features and lore. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get past those, um, which is pretty interesting. Next, I've I've been really experimenting with different types of puzzles in my PCGs. So this one. This PCG is just really experimental. Interesting. But this one's like a trap door. There's three different things of honey that could do three different things to you. Either make oh. you strong, weak, poisonous. Interesting. I like this. I, want, I, would, like, I would like to uh, challenge this puzzle. <laughs> Epic World says, yeah, I hate how it sometimes turns off comments. Yeah. Ep someone says, Epic Worlds, you could set your videos as not for kids and it will let people comment. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know, like, is that a thing where, like, it sometimes automatically sets them as for kids or something? I, or is that, like, a default? And Epic World says, yeah, I do that, but it still sometimes does that. Yeah, that sucks. Um, next is a hidden library with spiders all over it, and in these, like, spider things, there's two guys that you can save. So that's pretty cool. Oh, sweet. And next, you are in this room, uh -oh, and mummies. if you try to get that, like, sword or Mercado coin, all these mummies will come alive and unleash at you. And yeah, this is, like, a new type. Um, but yeah, they have red eyes, just like normal mummies. Next, this is one of my favorite screens. A really good maze screen. Lots of different takes on it. Epic World says, probably my high voice detects as kid. Oh, man. <laughs> I should use, like, a voice filter. Hey guys, Epic World's PCG is you to talk about, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Maze screen like, so, um, if you go over here, you can eat some mushrooms to like shrink and you can go in the- Via says, does YouTube even have such technology? Uh, yeah, um, I think so. I mean, I've seen that happen. Like, somehow it knows, it seems to know, like, if, if there's a kid in it, like, yeah, I think it does detect. I, I don't know. I mean, I, the only reason I think that is because it just seems to sometimes automatically set certain people's videos as for kids. And um, even if, yeah, it, it, like it has to be automated. Like how else would that happen? Yeah. Pipe, get that key. If you go over there, he might take your Mercado coins or here's some quicksand. And that quicksand, uh, if you dig your hand in it, you might find something. And then the, these guys are just weird little creatures. But basically, you gotta make them happy, and then they'll give you Mercado coins. <laughs> These guys are cool. Also, I love how Mercado coins have become such a thing in your PCG's Epic Worlds. Like, I, I must say, I never expected Mercado to catch on as much as it has in the PCG community. That is, that is a super cool thing. And once you found that key, you can get out. Uh, let me just say, I like this maze screen a lot. Um, the design of it, like, just visually, it looks very cool. Like, the thick lines helps identify it, the fact, and, you know, like, the scribbling, like, between, like, the walls. Um, you, you Specifically using the thick marker. I feel like this wouldn't have worked as well with a pencil, but the fact that you use marker here makes this very, like, very clear um, to see what you're doing, which makes you, like, want to play it more, like, you know? You feel more engaged in what's going on, um, and plus these guys just look really cool. I, I, I like their design a lot. They're 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 <laughs> these guys are just cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this guy over here, but.
but that guy's cool as well. Someone says, oh wait, uh, Epic World says, my friends only play my PCGs if they have Mercado coins in them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Someone says, I think some YouTubers purposefully say one bad word in their video so they can't get coppered. Oh man, does that work? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, it's Epic World PCG. Bleep! Anyway, <laughs> I am tired to talk about my new PCG. Epic World's PCG says Mercado made PCGs fun for them. That's awesome. I'm very glad I invented Mercado then. Via says, hashtag make Poyencio famous. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Someone says, oh right, Via. Have you seen Discord DM? I haven't. Oh man, are you guys still working on a secret project that I'm not allowed to know about? <laughs> That's crazy. Epic World says I've never sworn in my life. Not even once? Oh man. That, that's actually a impressive accomplishment. <laughs> that's that's a that's a that's pretty 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 cool right there. These guys are cool as well. Also announcement, I've started three PCG specials. So I'm currently playing three different PCG specials with nice. three different of my friends, which is really fun and I really like it so. Um, look forward to battle videos or just PCG playthroughs with those. So yeah. Next room, you'll find a bunch of mechs, and you've huh. got to defeat them with something you probably found in the last room to make it much easier. They're mechs. And the final page, Whoa. my favorite page, the boss fight. So, so you colorful. can't really take down this dragon. His like scales are made of a steel, so you got to find something else in the room to take him down. But yeah, this dragon is extremely cool, and that's Pinchback right there. And yeah, that was this PCG. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end if you did. And if you did, just comment PCG in the comments and then I'll know if you watched this far. Yeah. But I can't comment PCG in the comments because there's no comments. Oh, I want to comment PCG, but I can't. Ah. Someone says, ghosts, you bleep. <laughs> that is its full title. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, or rather, that's not its full title, but I'm not going to say its full title here. Um, someone says, that game is definitely not going to get marked for kids. <laughs> it's so true. The other thing that sucks about this is that, like, videos that get marked for kids, they don't just, it's not just that they have no comment section. It's also that they get recommended less. Like, if we go back to um, his channel... Um, like this one, this one has 14 views, so I'll almost guarantee this one does have a comment yeah, section. A yeah, see, Today look, bam. My whole collection of comment section. Because this one didn't get marked for kids. So, the, this one, this one got only six views because it's marked for kids. I'm gonna guarantee this one also marked for kids. Let's see. That's Epic World's PCG. Oh, no. I'm back with another video. This one Today, does I'm have sure a comment you're... section. I guess it's just new. Yeah, because this one was posted today. That's why it does has doesn't have many views. Let's give it a like so it that helps it in the algorithm. But yeah, um, yeah, like uh, it hurts the videos in the algorithm if it's if it's set for kids. You guys, someone says. Oh wait, I read that. Thea says I'll check the Discord. Okay, okay, cool. Should I also check out New PCG Ancient Tunnels number two? This one is five minutes. I'll turn That's up the speed a little bit more. Let's make it 1.75, bam. And, but oh, I'm seeing we have some pretty sweet uh, PCG characters over here. Got Bebop up there from um, Cyrae Deus's PCGs. Is that? It looks like Killbot. But I'm not sure if, it, but he's got like a sword instead of a gun, so I'm not sure if it's Killbot. The planet is Gondo. Okay, we've got these three little bots. Do I know them from anywhere? I do know this guy. Where do I know him from? He's one of, from one of the Clouded Hopes games. That's where I know him from. He's from, he's he's like the mutated alien dude. Okay. Gee, I'm back with another video, and today I'm showing you another really cool PC I made. This one is the sequel to Ancient Tunnels One which was for the Decad contest. Oh yeah. And I made a second one just because I really liked the storyline and I wanted to continue this story. So yeah, 
there are some famous characters in my universe, mainly in this one. Rather than the old one, there's famous ones in other people's PCGs. I mean, there's Bebop, of course, but most of these are mine. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Clabberant Bebop, which is like a spinoff of Bebop, like the name, but he looks completely different. Ooh, that's awesome. Bebop. We got a Skeletron, Nano Max from Mercado. Um, they decided to pop up in this PCG, but yeah. Um, this cover took me like one of the longest covers I've ever done. This whole PCG took me two hours, so um, I'm really proud of it. Cool. So, after going in the ancient tunnels like in the last PCG, and you defeated Dark Ben back, um, you're still stuck on Gondo, and you just decide you want to keep exploring, so you find a nearby cave, and you're like, what the heck, let's just explore. So... Wait, so we're playing as, a uh, Bebok? That's so cool. This is... I hardly ever do maze screens, but this is, like, my first, like, good maze screen. It's pretty big, and I'm really proud of it. Um, there's, like, a few specific ways you have to get past it. I wrote a number by each one, because in the script, you have to know, like, what each one is, and it's kind of hard just, like, saying that over there, so... You're a Bebok, and you're right here. There's a sword and a shield, but they're stuck in stone over there, so... Um, That's a clever way to deal with scripts, by the way. The, like writing the numbers in, so you don't have to go back and edit the image later. Um, that is really cool. Um, however, um, most people probably aren't going to want to do that in their PCGs. But when you do feel like doing it, it is a, like the other thing is putting a number next to everything can be distracting. People can like go up to it and be like, "Hey, what's this?" And it's like, "Oh, that's just the number. That's just so you know what it is on the script." You know. Um. Epic World says, Ancient Worlds 3 is planned in my journal. I just need to draw it. Sweet. Needs to get them out. Uh, you physically can't get them, but some something else in this PGG might help you. That's a torch right there. Um, that's a Skeletron you'll have to fight. There's some apples. You can go Berserk mode. Those are some Nanomechs. Uh, that'll help you. Ooh, that's Clombarant, of course, and he's a cannon arm. Um, and that's some Fog Spray. That is a cannibal from the planet Toten, I believe, or Gondo. I'm not, I don't remember. That's a key. <laughs> and then that's the door. So it's um, pretty complex, but it's one of my first nice screens. I'm nice. proud of it. Nice maze screen. Next, you are in another room and there's a big boulder blocking your way. So you'll need to somehow get past that. And then there's a little pipe here leading to Mercado coins. You can put your little nanomechs in there and they can retrieve them for you. And then that's just like a trap. Now, this guy from the cover. Yeah. Um, he was featured in my PCG The Abyss. And I brought him back into this one. So that's some quicksand over there. And this is like a really long gap. You have to find something to put over the gap. Oh, and if you're wondering what all these things are that show up on every page, they're just like stalagmites and stalactites. But yeah, once you defeat him, you can move on to the next page. Okay which I really like this page. So these two Zagori dudes, after their empire was um, invaded by the Croden in the Zagori Empire PCG, um, these two um, wanted a new life, so they moved to the planet Gondo. Um, this is where this PCG takes place, just like the last ancient tunnels. And um, when they arrived, like they just arrived in this cave and they were like searching in it like for a new place and they found another construct of a previous Zagori empire that probably used to live here. Um, Whoa, cool. But yeah, you can talk to them and they speak English. So, that, so for those not in the know, that is linked in with my... Um my lore for the planet Shri. The Zigori are the race of miniature people who live on the planet Shri. Um, and uh, I, yeah, I still haven't played, um, you know, Zigori Empire, which, by the way, I want to play it, Epic Worlds. I want to play that game so that I can, you know, l like, know what's, what's going on in it. I w uh, and I also want to play Temple of Shri. I want to. I, I want to play like. I mean, I want to play all the PCGs, but you know, those two in particular, I've been very curious what lore is going on inside of them. So we should we should like play them in the in the Discord at some point, uh, Epic Worlds. If you don't, if you're if you're down. Um, X, Epic Worlds says next video I upload will be Zagori Empire. Sweet, we can play that soon. Awesome. Which actually, um, this page is kind of just a filler page. Just another little puzzle. There's a bunch of spiders coming out of a hole. A hole. There's um Ron oil. Um, from Grand Finale, and there's a trash can. Oh, hey, Grand Oil, yeah. Over there, so you got to figure out the puzzle over there. And then, I usually don't include that guy in most of my PCGs, because I know, like, everybody does, but this is one of my PCGs where I do. So, um, he's blocking the way. Um, he was hired by the Gondo Wizard, which you might see in this PCG, and you have to get past him. And then you can either go uh, right or left. So, if you go right, you escape, and you're out of the cave, um, because you just want to keep exploring, and that is a Hento flag, so that's a little clue of what your adventure might be next time. Then if you would have gone left, you would have met the Gondo Wizard again, and he has a new hybrid. It's a mix of Cloudian, Pinchback, and Dark Benback. Ah. So it's a three in <laughs> Cloudian, Pinchback, and Dark Benback. Oh my god. Instead of two this time. Hey, I'm gonna go see you guys. Alright, thanks for joining, Salmon. So he's pretty tough, and you gotta use one of the items from one of the previous pages to defeat him. And then if you do defeat him, then the Gondo Wizard just disappears. And yeah, that was Ancient Tunnels 2. A pretty cool PCG in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That's Epic Worlds. Peace. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. Huh. Huh. 
Um. Yeah, what's going on? What am I? 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 What am I doing? <laughs> Epic World says thanks for your reacting. You're welcome. And uh, also, excuse me. Um. Oh man, look how stable this is. We've had like a solid three viewers this whole time, except for like a brief period where we had six, and then it just immediately crashed. But now we have three. Um. So. Hmm. What else did I want to talk about? So there's another video I've been working on that's, um... Oh, hey, Beds Claymore, how's it going? Thanks for joining, what's up? Um... So, like... Yeah, I've been, um... I've been working on, um... A Zelda video. Like, I don't know if any of you guys like the Legend of Zelda video game series, you know, for those. Uh, Epic World says, any progress on Squids in Space series or Lives of Ginkus? Not really. I mean, like, the issue is more, is less about making progress on them, and it's more about finding time to play them. Like, the Squids in Space game is done. It's just that Ari needs to play. <laughs> That's the only issue. And, like, after he beats it, I can make another another one pretty quickly um as for lives of ginkus once again i mean there's enough that chris could play it right now it's just the issue is you know every time chris plays pcgs with me we play um pcg anniversary special too and you know i've been figuring you know like once that's done you know i'll make one that chris can play but um you know uh but uh chris sucks and so as a result uh, PCG Anniversary Special 2 is like a billion screens long, which is actually cool because I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> like, it feels like a properly epic adventure. It feels like a proper special, right? 76 screens, and we're like not even halfway done with it yet, which is amazing. But yeah, that does mean other things get put on the back burner for a while. Um, meanwhile, Chris is moving, so, you know, they can't really do much about that. Um... But yeah, um, so yeah, no progress. It's just, it's just like, it's hard to really motivate myself to make PCGs without like playing them with people. Like I need to like, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. I need to, I need to, I need to play them. Um, so that's what I'm probably going to try and do first. Bad's Claymore says, working on a new PCG called Planet Data. I think it's going to be a really revolutionary PCG. Well, that's awesome. I like that title a lot. That sounds really cool. Um, Planet Data. Interesting. Epic World says, Zach, I want to play one of your PCGs on the Discord because I've never actually been a player in a PCG. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, hey, Hack Troll Jr., how's it going? Uh, yeah, Epic Worlds. Um, yeah, let me, like, do you have a specific idea of what PCG you would want to play? Um, yeah, I mean, like, pick one that you're interested in, and um, we could... Um, we could definitely um, try that. Hey, DevY, how's it going? DevY, how are you liking that uh, PCG book? Has that has that has that uh, been working out well? Epic World says maybe Mole Men series. Interesting. I've never um, I've never made that one available online at all. But yeah, we could do that. Or a custom series. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, um, yeah, let me know for sure, um, and, um, any old time we can, we, 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 we can, we can, we can, we can play, um. Hack says, I'm here to say I'm not dead, just an FYI. 
That is good to know. I am. I. I um. That is. That is good news. Um. I am. I am highly in favor of people not being dead. That is. That is a thing that I think is a okay and very cool and and based. Epic Worlds PCG says I was gonna order the PCG book, but need to make a PayPal account. I ordered the PCG kit, and it should come in two weeks. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Why? Do, why are people talking about PayPal accounts? Um. Like, let me, um, let's see what's going on over there. Devoy says, thanks to the book, I got my scholarship for PCG College and A triple plus in PCG history and lore. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Devoy. You're learned. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's take a look at what is going on over here in this, uh, in this here, like, whoops. What did I just do? Yeah, um. Ah, did not mean to do that. Okay, um. Let's see. Can I log into my PCG Shopify? Unless the internet decides it's not working again. DevY says, I always wanted to know the history of PCGs. Y'all buy the book? Oh, thank you, DevY. Yeah, that's awesome. That is that is why I made the book. Um, but yeah, let's figure out what's going on with that PayPal nonsense because, like... Because if that's, like, preventing people from... Uh, getting it, I should fix that. Epic World says, Zach, what do you think of the P idea of the PCG kit? I think it's cool. Um, I think it's you know a great uh, a great starter pack to get people you know like started making PCGs. I I I think that's awesome. Sketchy Penguin says, Wow, it's late. I don't know how long I'll stay. Hey, Sketchy Penguin, thanks for joining. I like even if it's for two minutes. <laughs> thanks for being here. Um, sorry this got started so late, but there was technical problems for like a full half hour before I could start the stream. Epic World says it contains player inventory sheets, pencil custom special chance PCG dice. Yeah, that's cool. Devoy says Zach leaks his PayPal account. <laughs> oh, man. Um, wait, but this would, but this would be, um, let's see. It just says Zach bought Zuvac robot for four hundred thousand from Elon Musk. Explain Zach. Listen, you know I like gotta 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 you know make those uh those 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 important financial deals, yo. That's how I roll. Get your ring and says no worries. Glad you're back. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be back. I've just been super busy at work, but I'm trying to trying to get back to streaming more. It just work is. The summer is the busiest time for us, honestly. We we just have so much going on at work right now. It's uh, it's it's most unfortunate. Um, but uh, yeah, let's. Um... Oh, by the way, did I tell you guys? Um, I'm actually gonna be able to use a paper computer game at work soon. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna like. You know I um. I, I made my detailed outline of what I'm gonna do for a summer camp that I'm running for 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 a bunch of kids, and uh, there is a there is definitely a paper computer game in it, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I um, so I am of course that means now I have to actually make a paper computer game that is you know appropriate to the topic of the thing, and then play it with the class. <laughs> Can you imagine like being in a class and then your teacher whips out a paper computer game and like plays it with you? Uh. Devil I says Zach, someone made an amazing fan art of Zuvac. Look, that, that that's awesome. Where where's this? Where's the fan art? If you can't post it here in chat, um, you should have like posted it on the wiki or something, um, or on Discord. 
Uh, Epic World says, yes, introducing more people to PCGs. Yes. Sketchy Penguin says, that's so awesome, Zach. Thanks so much. Um, the boy says, the heck. Okay. All right. Um, Sorry, I tried Rick rolling. Ah, ah, DevY, DevY, come on, come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so yeah, what am I doing? What's going on with this? Drafts, are there any like drafts or like abandoned checkouts for the book because of the PayPal thing? Yeah, look at this, freaking three of them. Um, yeah, so that's probably not great. Um, what about, um, Zach, look at PCG Discord art channel. There's lots of cool PCG art. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, see if, um, maybe I shouldn't do this right now. Um, but I don't think you need PayPal to, uh, to, to buy the thing. I'll, I'll, I'll test it out. I'll test it out. Sketchy Penguin says, yeah, it definitely feels like PCGs get a boost at the beginning of the year and they kind of die out as the year progresses. Yeah, true. Dev Y says, with amazing artwork, I'm going to send it to you in Discord. Please say yes to my apology. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Dev Y. All right. All right. Let's, let's check out the PCG art channel. I'm getting VR in two months. That's awesome. Yeah, so, um, Hacktroll says my channel reached two years. Congratulations, Hacktroll. Let's head over to PCG Art channel. People been doing stuff. So oh, check that out. Classy tutorial. <laughs> uh, he's got this, like, 1920s, like, top hat. I love it. Who drew this? Epic Worlds? That's awesome. Classy Zubak as well. Oh, my God. He looks like, uh... He looks like a Nazi archaeologist from one of the Indiana Jones movies. <laughs> He's like, hey, Mr. Jones, as you can see, we have the statue now. <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. Let's give this a, uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, what is this guy? I don't know what this is, but this looks freaking amazing. This is beautiful. Look at that color. Um, the glowy effect, really effective. The the bright neon, like kind of like purple, pinkish, and the and the red, like making it seem like a police siren. Really cool. What is that? Oh, I already reacted to that. I said this looks amazing. Huh? I forgot. Wow, my memory is like just going somewhere. It's just like leaking out of my head. But um. Epic Girl says great comments. <laughs> Thank you. Hector says he's sus. Uber tutorial bot. Oh man, that is cool. Uh, yeah, I um okay. Let's see what else we got. We got uh <laughs> Bebop getting shot out of the cannon. That's awesome. Conan O'Brien, originally from Spaceballs PCG. Yes, a classic um character by Kurt from the planet Zoniat from the PCG Spaceballs. That is awesome to see him get revamped for a new age. And of course an awesome Pinchvac as well. Got your version of Met Mortalis. Super cool. Um, ooh. Yeah, I've seen this before as well, but this looks really, really cool. I'm, I am a, a big fan of this. DevY says tutorial bot when no one needs a tutorial. <laughs> uh, when does anyone ever need a tutorial, you guys? When do they? By the way, I was um, I was working on um, Bats Claymore says me and my cousin was in the PCG in mood last night. We both made 15 PCGs all over 10 pages. Needless to say, that was pretty sick. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of PCGs. That sounds sick. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, but yeah, um, 
Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I like that face. This guy uh, chasing him, like, he's like, Whoa. Telot Mountain, new PCG, awesome. So many good PCGs. Dev Y says it's rare to be in a PCG mood. Hacktroll says, Bad's Claymore beat the record. Where you start spam writing PCGs because you're in that rare mood. Oh, uh, yeah, good times. Hmm. Love that mood when it happens. So, um. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm working on a Zelda video. Um, it's not PCG related, but, you know. I don't know. I'm just randomly talking about it. Like, basically, ba basically, um. Epic Girl says, I think me or Chris or Zach have the record for most PCGs. Yeah, um. I'm not sure how many you have Epic Worlds, but definitely Chris had it up until that point. As many as we've all made, Chris had like, just in series one alone, he had over 76 PCGs. And there was definitely at least one after that. So there's at least 77 PCGs in series one alone, plus like however many there are in series two, which is a bunch, plus you know, however many there are in series three or Mark three, you know, like ghosts, um, uh, what conspiracy, a scarf's tale, space cells, ghosts two, PCG anniversary special two. That's already six games. Um, so Chris definitely has over 80 so at least prior to um epic worlds as far as i'm aware i think he has the most um epic world says i only have 42 oh man still you're getting there you're getting there epic world says i need to make more yes gotta gotta take that record from chris <laughs> of course chris could still beat you if he you know, if he was, like, instead of making PCG Anniversary Special 2 just, like, one massive PCG, if, like, every week he came back with, like, a like a two-page PCG, you know? An individual one every time instead of, like, one giant game. Which is kind of what it feels like, you know? It feels like a series. So yeah, um, I was also like, um, I was doing research for the Zelda video, right? Because like the plan there is to do a whole timeline thing. I'm going to, I'm going to do a whole timeline thing that I don't think anyone else on YouTube has really done. I don't know if you guys, how many of you guys are into Zelda, so I don't know if you're going to be interested in that, but uh, I am going to make the video. And in the process of researching for that video, I discovered that, you know, like one of the Zelda spin-off games that I never played. It's called, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a weird game. It's a weird game. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about this because it's not PCG related, but. I want, like, I wanted to, I wanted to see what your guys' reaction to it was. But anyway, yeah, this game is called Color Changing Tingles Balloon Trip of Love. And <laughs> it's basically where you play as Tingle from the Legend of Zelda series. It's a Japan-only game, by the way. But somehow it's also a crossover with like the Wizard of Oz. So like you're with the Scarecrow and the Lion and the Tin Man and you have to like go on a journey. I think it's a point and click game. So it's a lot like a PCG. So I'm thinking there could be like some good PCG uh, inspiration in there. But yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of like... Like, I, I finally downloaded a fan translation of this game for an emulator, which, like, you know, I'm, I'm not usually a big emulator person, but, like, 
there is no other way to play this game. Like, I don't speak Japanese or read it, you know, so what else are you going to do? But, um, yeah, I was thinking of playing it and doing so on a live stream on the other, like, gaming channel, uh, PCG Gaming. I don't know. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Or is it not something you guys would be interested in? Um, all right, let's respond to what Ch Chad is saying. Hacktroll says, you know the PCG, right? I want to know what happened to Chris. Wait, what? You want to know what? Wait, what? P huh? Which PCG? What are we talking about? Devil Eye says, how do you do that clapping thing with your hands? I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. It just kind of happens. Like, like, um, I, I didn't practice for it or anything. I just legitimately just one day somebody pointed it out to me and I was like, I'm just like innocently like clapping. And she's like, stop it. And I'm like, you know, what am I doing? You know? Um, I mean, I, on my other channel, um, XAQ, you know, Zach Rosatelny, um, I did a tutorial on it for it because of Psalm on the Fish's request. But I don't know. Like, I don't think everyone can do it. Like, I think the way some people's hands are, like, they can't, like, make a, fan, a sound as easily when they do this. I don't know why. I don't know if it's hand size or if it's, like, something to do with the finger shape or something i don't know some people can do it some people can't i have met like a few other people who can do it pretty clearly but then even if they can do it it's hard to get up a rhythm i have met like there is one guy who's like as fast as i am but he does like he can do this the alternating thing like he could do that like as fast as me and possibly faster but he couldn't do like this you know my thing where i use both hands but he could get, like, he could really get up to, like, a really fast. That is pretty fast. <laughs> that, is a, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is that is a pretty fast record. Um, uh, let's see. Um, HMB Tiger Games says, I mean, if it was a competition to have the most unfinished PCGs, I would win 100%. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You'd have a lot of strong competition in that regard. <laughs> I think, like, everyone in this community has, like, a billion. Um, Epic World says, I've gotten more into making PCG series instead of standalone games. That is really cool. Um, Hack Troll Jr. says, Hey, Zach, did you ever make a horror PCG? I don't think so, no. No, never really tried it. I should do that. That's a good idea. Um, Bads Claymore says, I think it'll be quite hard to make a horror PCG. I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Uh, Devwise says, I don't know, man. I just stood up, man. The doctor getting my wheelchair. Oh, man. Pardon me. Um, HMB Tiger Game says, This time I stopped because I scared myself. Oh, man. Dad's Claymore says, Doesn't mean it's impossible. True. Hacktroll Jr. says, Kind of hard to make a horror one, but I did. It's called The Terrorist. Yeah, The Terrorist. Good times. And not just The Terrorist. You had, like, a few other terrorist-related games. Right, Hacktroll? Like, spinoffs and stuff. Bad's Claymore says, I think it's hard to make a horror PCG that's actually scary. Yeah, you know, the thing about that is a lot, whether it's actually scary, I think a huge portion of that depends on how you play it with the player, you know? Like, no matter what the art looks like, most of a PCG is imagination and how it's presented to you and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I mean... This the, probably like the, one of the scariest PCGs I've ever played is Ghosts. It's funny, it's silly, but it's also got its horror component to it. It's also got, you know, like some creepy themes in there. And the only way that works, the only reason it like there's nothing scary about the art at all. It just looks like oh here's a room, oh here's another room. The only thing that's scary about it is sort of like the interaction between me and Chris like you know the sort of like 
me asking questions and like hey like what like I'll 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 check and see if there's a green bubble there and Chris is like you check and there's two green bubbles now <laughs> you know and it's like it works because like I mean I'm not giving a good example because like he builds you up to that you know it's like he builds you up to it with curiosity and with like whoa and he's sort of like I think the way Chris does it is he kind of like feels me out for what I'm curious about like what would I be impressed with in that moment and then he makes that the thing you know like um like based on what I'm asking I'm really like whoa like how many ghosts are there in here like I mean this seems like a small space how would this many ghosts fit and he'll be like you check and there's like 10 times as many as you think I don't know like that's like I'm just making up that example but the point is like based on what I'm asking he's like you know he gets a sense of what my expectations are you know what I'm thinking is gonna be there and then he's like let me surprise you let me put something creepier than you thought um and I think that can make a game creepy. It really does come down to how you interact and how you present it, you know, more than anything. Art certainly helps, though. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Beds Claymore says, hey, the terrorist, good times. Zach, out of context. <laughs> uh, yeah. Too bad, like, the whole, um, Salman's not here because we could do, like, uh, like, you know, because, like, could, you know, clip it or whatever, but, oh, well, you guys lose. <laughs> Epic World says, want to react to one more video because I'm going to go going to bed soon? Sure, which one should I react to? Um... HME Tiger Game says, I mean, one way to make VCG scary is to make a flip book during the cutscenes. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Hack Troll Jr. says, I forgot his name, but there's going to be a spin off. Oh, that's awesome. Via says, he's always out of context. Uh, that's true. Via says, I got to go for now, guys. Might rejoin later if the stream's still going. Thanks for joining, Via. Have a great night. But yeah, anyway, folks. Um, I guess. I guess I already made my case for Tingle's balloon trip of love, and no one did. Anyone say anything about that? Let me let me double check. Um, let's see. Wow, Zach, you have 714 subs. Yeah, thank you, HMB Tiger Games. I'm getting there. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. I want to get to a thousand, cause like. I'm told that once you get to a thousand, like, you know, I wasn't super in a rush to get to a thousand or anything because like, you know, you get monetized at that point. But then I realized, you know, I saw another YouTuber say that when you get to a thousand subs, like, like YouTube, like, and when you monetize your videos, YouTube recommends them a lot more. Like the algorithm recommends them a lot more. If that's true, then... I definitely want to get to a thousand subs as quickly as possible, but I don't know if there's anything I can do to do that. Well, I mean, just obviously stream more. <laughs> um, I guess I could actually start legitimately asking people to like and sub, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, yeah, it looks like nobody said anything about the uh, Tingles Balloon Trip of Love, so I guess... I don't know. Should I just play that on my own, I guess? Maybe I should make, like, a proper poll, like, I just post it on the channel rather than just doing it on the stream so that people who, like, aren't here can have an opinion, you know? Um, if you want to know about the terrorist, look him up, him or it up on the PCG Wiki. Yes, indeed. <whistles> the terrorist. The terrorist was a powerful and destructive humanoid creature. The timeline this humanoid being was being created was November 3rd, 1925. It was at a lab where a man had created a virus and antidote pills. But when his assistant 
when to throw a skeleton that had dinosaur raptor claws and feet away into the trash chamber. He did not know which chamber was which, so he accidentally threw the odd skeleton in the mutating chamber where the virus was going to be created, thus making a humanoid PCG villain that demolished the man and his assistant. When the cops showed up, the terrorist was gone. Why is he a terrorist? What does he do? You know? Does he like... Does he like bomb places? I know he's creepy regardless of what he what he what, what he is, you know. Um I big world says react to whichever one you want, maybe three keys. Okay. Okay, we could uh, we could uh we could do that. We could do that. The laws of physics permit that outcome. If Bach wrote the music for Super Mario Bros. By the way, did you guys see that, like, video about soup? Uh, oh, my God. By, by Matt Pat. What the heck? Um, yeah, but anyway. Um, what am I doing? Epic Worlds. Three keys. Okay. Um, Dev says it's 2024. Zach had a 100 a 100k play button. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Maybe in like 2034, <laughs> 2044 for lucky. You know. Um, I heard it makes you money if you reach 1k. Yeah, but I mean, I don't care about that. I mean, it's gonna be like, you know, two bucks, you know, <laughs> like, like if you do it for two months, you make like two bucks, like probably YouTube takes most of the money. You just like, you have to get like pretty big before you start making a considerable amount of money. It's still cool. But, you know, the, like, so that's the reason I wasn't in any particular rush. The only reason I'm, like, more inclined to it is because, like, I want to get more people into PCGs, you know, just so the community can be bigger, so that more stuff can be happening, so that there can be more, you know, like, interactivity, more, like, stuff being created, and, like, more people to play PCGs, more people to add to the wiki, more, you know, just all of it. This community is richer the more people are in it. I don't feel like my work is done until I've created, like, a sufficiently large and stable community. So, um, yeah, like, the goal here is, you know, like, um, you know, when, like, the big folks of, like, the paper game community, like, um, left... You know, like IPGS and KKT and Reality Stupid, the community kind of like slowly fizzled out, you know, because like eventually it's just like one person will just make something. Hey guys, I made my little paper game. It's cool. And then that's it. They forget about it. And then that's it. Then somebody else does the same thing. Hey guys, I made a paper game. Here's what a paper game is. And then it fizzles out, right? I don't want that to happen to PCGs. I want a different fate for PCGs. See, so like what I want from PCGs is. I want them to like get large enough and self-sustaining enough that like even if like let's say I leave, Epic Worlds leaves, Yak leaves, you know, like maybe two years down the road or whatever, there's enough really high quality engaging PCG YouTubers that the community can sustain itself without us. You know what I'm saying? Like I want like that that's the goal here my community my, my my work is not complete until it has reached that level of momentum that it's like self-sustaining and like reliably so like if i like i want to get to the point where if i go away for two months and then i come back the community is even bigger than when i left you know i feel like we're getting close to that but i don't feel like we're quite there just yet i don't think um i feel like um HMB Tiger Game says, Yo, Zach, can I have a link to your gaming channel? Sure, I'll put it in the description of this video. Let's, um, let's do that. 
Epic World says, as long as I'm alive, I'll keep making PCGs. I like that attitude. I like that attitude, Epic World's PCG. I feel the same way. But, you know, you never know. Like, life can hit you in weird ways, you know? You never know what's going to happen. So, you know, never take anything for granted, you know? Like, like, we always think we're going to have later, but, you know, maybe a year from now you'll get, like, a full-time job and you'll have to work 60 hours a week and, you know, you just won't have the time, you know? It, it's possible. Or you know i don't know maybe i don't know like life happens but yeah um <laughs> says, as long as i'm alive i'll never finish a pcg oh man uh that's <laughs> uh, accurate at least um no, no that's not true that's not true i'm sure you will f finish one hmv tiger games i meant to say honest at least because like i like that uh, but i'm sure you will you'll get there you'll get there good sir um I believe in you. Um, anyway, I was going to give a link to the gaming channel. My bad. Oh, so many stuff I'm trying to respond to at once. But yeah, let's go to... Um, uh, do I have... Channels? Oh, what the heck. All right. Um, here it is. The channel is called PCG Gaming. And I will copy the link and I will put it, in theory, in the description of this video. Gaming channel. So there you have it. All right, let's see what else is going on. Uh, what people are saying. Um, Dad's Claymore says, wait. Hack Troll says, that's what he did at the end of my video. Oh, the terrorist will claw you and then infect you. Yeah, that's right, that's right, I remember. Good times, good times. Dad's Claymore says, a YouTuber, I forgot his name, has a video with 14 million views and he made it and he made $80 from that video. Yeah, yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I am not holding my breath to make a ton of money on like YouTube, you know, ad revenue. Um, but if it'll improve the algorithm significantly, that makes it worthwhile to me. Um, Zach, can you feature my channel in your thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, um. Let's see, channels. How do I edit this? Oh, this is the other one, right? do it at the moment but um yeah never take anything for granted especially soap yeah for sure for sure um zach what does it look like the terrorist did to the guy at the end of my vid uh i don't remember I don't remember. I'm going to bed in like 30 minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's react. Sorry. I'll say something. The terrorist wasn't the only failed experiment. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. That's pretty sweet. Um. Right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, epic. Here we go, Epic Worlds, PCG. And you wanted me to react to the three keys, let's do it. Let's 
Let's make this one fast because... Hey everyone, Seven today minutes. I'm showing you an overview of my biggest PCG I've finished so far, the three keys. This is really cool because it takes place on three different planets. You're basically finding one key on each planet to unlock a god button that you'll find at the last page of the PCG. But yeah, it's really cool. That's a really it's like cool an exploration. I like Balzac Lovertron. You've seen Zach's videos. But yeah, so first you gotta pick out a character. You can be Breath, Captain, or Barry. Each of them have different capabilities. But yeah. Mm. On each planet you'll find a key. This one's the key of Gondo, the key of Ico. Yeah, maybe like my... I can't pull off the fast speed. Go in the key of core gas. I need some more quality. First planet you're gonna be exploring is the planet Gorgath. This is a pretty cool like outlook on that it. That is pretty cool. That's your ship. Then once your ship lands, you can fight those two mechs down there and get their key cards, which you can then scan at the door to um, unlock to the next room. Oh, hey. And then you'll meet the fat guy, which is pretty cool. And Good old fat guy. Nice haircut, fat guy. And you got to like somehow think smart to get past him. Over here is just like some tutorial bot advice. Okay. Next, you'll meet the best in the top right corner. And um, he can like fly. Um, I have a lore video on him in a previous video, but yeah, you gotta somehow bridge this gap over lava. Cool. And once you do that, you have to enter a code to get to the next like door. And this screen's pretty cool. So you gotta scan the code, and then you gotta get past this like electric, like fiery like barrier. Epic World says you have me on slow mo. Oh no, I don't. Right here. Once you get past that, you gotta get You're down on, like, the steps. Like, some springs you gotta be careful with, because if you step on a spring, it might launch you in the water or lava. And then there's a gift at the bottom, which will give you, like, healing. I like the perspective on that screen. And this is a cool puzzle. Um, this is actually one of my, like, my fourth PCG I ever made, and all my friends played it, and they all said this, this was, like, their favorite PCG they've ever played yet, so... If anybody wants to play this, I don't know if I will release it on the, like, shop, because it's so big, but I might. Yeah, this puzzle, you gotta... You should. Once you go in this, like, thing, you'll be trapped in there, so you gotta take down all three of those targets to get past. Next, you'll come into a room, and there's, like, six different, like, Mercado doors, Ooh. and each one you go into has a different, like, puzzle or monster you have to beat to get that Mercado coin, oh. so that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Then once you get a key that is one in one of those rooms, you'll go in to fight a uh, tray bot. I'm just looking at my script right now, but yeah. He's pretty much indestructible, and the only way to defeat him is to lift up that cage and press one of the buttons to kill him. Right, and then, see. if you'll see, there's a chest over there which will give you the first key of Gorgath. Next, after you go to Gorgath, you'll head to Ico which is like the ocean planet. And you'll land on an iceberg. Now I did make this a long time ago, so the art isn't the best, but yeah, it's fine. So you see that little Eskimo down there and he might like give you some advice and tell you about like Ico. And it should be Tiger Game so says, from now on I will make a single game, but I split every chapter into its own game. I'll make the chapters long. That's cool. Give you some facts. And then once you're done talking to him, you can go over to that other iceberg with that little like tunnel. And at this angle, you're looking at it like this is the water, and then anything under there is beneath it. So you're right now you're underwater, and you're going down like a little tunnel, and you can find some scuba gear that you might need in the future. And you can eat the potato race. Now, the potato race is like a new species on Ico, and they live like underwater in these glass chambers like you see right now. And they say that they'll pay you a lot of Mercado coins, like 20, which is quite a bit if you defeat the really big beast. That's really cool. Um, that is really cool. The uh, potato people, they live underwater. I like it. They'll send you like their the two potato guards right there. And you can pick a sub, and you can buy like some upgrades with Mercado coins right there. And yeah, once you get a sub, you can save the jellyfish from that like monster, and they'll, the other jellyfish will give you like um, energy to make your sub go faster, Sweet. which is cool. And then you'll be pinched away crabfish, oh, hey. which has been showing up in lots of my PCGs recently, which is cool. This is like his fifth appearance. <laughs> and you That's awesome. Then uh, Epic Worlds, you just have you have like the single highest volume of pinchoid appearances out of anyone. Like, I'm pretty sure Chris has only used him twice, including PCG Anniversary Special 2, um, and his original appearance. I've used him, like, maybe one, two, three, poth no, I think it's just two. I think just two times I've used him. So, yeah, you're the clear, uh, biggest user of Pinchzoid in PCGs. <laughs> gotta like give him something to get past where you can just kill him of course but, um if you think that the girl says i love pinch so he's my favorite because he's so cool <laughs> he is really cool it's amazing that this guy made it so far right 
he was just a random one screen boss you know in the random pcg from series two you know like no one ever thought that he would you know go on to achieve such like such fame you know or such such uh such longevity you know like it was just like it was just a crab like the whole concept was it's just a crab it was mutated by this crystal this relic of the sea that you find at the bottom of the sea and then once you beat him you get the crystal away from him he just turns back into a normal crab that was all it was it wasn't supposed to be like this huge character or whatever it was just it was just a crab you know that just happened to be mutated by this thing but then he keeps popping up again and it's like what how do he get mutated again what he's back again what and then like before you know it he's making evil schemes before you know it he's being seen on different planets <laughs> Uh, the legend of pinch Zoid crap because I love it. It's very, it's so, it's so, so uh, PCG. It's very, it's very, it's very PCG. Um, bro, there's one person watching. Oh man, that sucks. Um, Bad's claimer says Zach, you should make a video on the mole man. Yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Epic World says I've got a PCG magnet of him on my fridge. Oh man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Epic Worlds. Via's back. Hey, thanks for coming back, Via is the beast that you the potato man hired you to get like you might think oh i killed your beast now give me the mercado coins but he might say oh but there's a bigger beast and there is so that's your sub compared to this so it's absolutely massive and to take down this guy you just have to hit him in this like exposed patch of skin right there and he'll die and you'll get the key of that's a cool boss i really like this design with like the, the curviness of it as well really well done right at the bottom and the final planet you'll be going to visit is gondo which is absolutely massive compared to Echo. you land in like a forest there and you'll meet this like bird over there who can like you can befriend and ride him um like for faster transportation there's also like a little monument over there that is really important just there mm -hmm. and you carry along on the trail and you can find this like shovel with sand and you can dig up a gem that is it gives you like strength over here's just a stick with mushrooms on it you can use as a weapon and then if you see that thing dangling on a tree that's a snake so if you like pull it down it'll attack you and if you move on you'll meet a tiki nuki village now this is actually a subspecies of the tiki nukis because you may notice that they look not really like them they only have one eye instead of two Oops, zoomed up too much. But yeah, uh, they don't like waters. You can like fill up a bucket from your cotter or something and like scare them away. But otherwise they're pretty hostile. Cool. Oh my gosh. And the final like challenge you'll have to defeat is this tree. I don't remember its name. I can't find it in my script, but let's just call it like Trigomorph, the tree god. And he has the final key in his like leap. Uh, like, let's just call him like, I don't know, Trigomorph. <laughs> like, I love how you're able to just come up with like a, 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 a good name, like just off the top of your head like that right there so you gotta get past him also the apples dangling from his like leaves are explosive so he might throw those at you and the way to defeat him is you gotta strike two rocks together and or just start any type of fire and he'll die that's a mean tree because he, he will not be friendly and then after all that you will go to the gondo temple which you can just walk right into and you can put all three of your keys in that like chest to unlock the god weapon also that little dude over there is just a little monk and he'll like say congratulations and stuff and then you'll get the Chromex staff, which allows you to draw any like sketch you want in any PCG, but once only once per PCG, and it becomes that item. Oh wow! Which is really powerful. That is powerful. So, yeah, that was a 23-page PCG, um, which is my longest one that I've ever finished. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video or overview. And I'm also recording a few other videos today of more overviews of old PCGs I haven't shown yet. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this far, make sure to like the video if you want to. You don't have to. But yeah, see you in the next one. Bye. Whoops. You fight like a cow. Did not want to click on hey that. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you an overview of- What I wanted to do is comments. Does this video have comments? Oh wow, what, what, what's going on with the format over here? Toon Fox is awesome. Yes, I agree. I will like that comment. Void Devix one says, amazing. I also agree with this comment. I will like it as well. Turbo Brick says, sorry, I haven't commented for a while. Uh... You don't have to apologize for, for commenting, but I'll still like your comment. I will also like Epic Worlds' response to that. There you go. Bam. Okay. Ooh, let's respond to comments. Ooh, Spell Forces RPG commented on what? what's this, my PCG response video? Where's the comment, though? probably got buried in like you know like the the like the the spam comments um 
beds, playing more says I was playing with a PC with my friend where I had to go to several planets to retreat gems. So taking the opportunity, I ran for president to all of the planets and I was elected and I would nuke the planet and leave on my rocket. Oh my gosh. Someone should make it a, a, like a follow-up PCG to that PCG, but Bad's Claymore, where there's like consequences of you n nuking that planet. Like they want revenge now or like, <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. I don't know. Bad's Claymore says, I did this because the gem could not be exploded. So then I made it more easier to find the gems. Oh man. That is clever actually. That, that, I like that. Like it can't be blown up. So let me blow up everything else and then that'll be the only thing left i like it thanks for reacting to the three keys you're welcome yeah that's like yip it uh 2.0 oh dude yeah for sure that is like yip it 2.0 um uh What do you think, guys? Do I need a better microphone? I could get a new microphone, but the question is, should I? You know? I don't know. Your mic is fine. Yeah, like, I know it's fine, but could it be better? <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Should I, get, should I get a new camera first? Would that be, like, do I need a new camera? What do we think? Let's, uh, let's like, take a look at what this looks like. Whee! What's the quality like? I mean, I know it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not bad or anything. I don't know. I've just been, like, in this state for a while, and I feel like I might be due for an upgrade. I don't know. I think you should. Um, Epic World says, Zach, what if you were a paper game creator and you never made any PCGs? Well, then... I don't know. <laughs> then I'd be a paper game creator. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd probably have made a bunch more paper games than I have. What can I say? Um, get a cam, get a cam. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Epic World says, Zach, what PCG do you want me to make next? And it can be anything. Ooh. I don't know. Um, I do not know. Um, yeah, sorry. I just can't think of anything at the moment. But, I mean... Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Make a PCG about that... Um, about that... Uh, place that Chris revealed in PCG Anniversary Special 2 that we never got to actually see in the game. And there's no art for it or whatever. But it's like, when I went, when I, like, you know, when I was in that alternate dimension, you know, when I fall in the river, the river sweeps me away to that city. Um, and it's beautiful, but then you get killed the second you get there. What was that city called? Denundergrund? Oh no, Denundergrund was like the larger region within Grizel. So this is the universe, it's called Grizel. It's like a fantasy universe. The place is called Denundergrund, and the capital of Denundergrund is Gunderflas. So this is what I'm saying. Make a PCG that takes place in Gunderflas of the universe Grizel. That is my, that's my request. Um... Bad's Claymore says, in the same PCG, I was captured by the devil and I had to escape. So I did this by telling the devil I would give him a lifetime amount of cat food for his cat. As for how I got the cat food, I went to one of the planets which hadn't been nuked and found that everyone from that planet was made out of cat food. I don't think I need to say anything more. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bad's Claymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Epic World says, Send me details later in DM because I don't remember watching that in PCG Anniversary Special. Yeah, uh, sure, but just look like there aren't really any details. I mean, all the details are just here on the wiki page. Just um, look up Gunderflas on the on the. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, yeah, 
Look up Gunderflas on the PCG wiki, and this is like legit all it is. Gunderflas was the capital of Denundergrund in the al in the alternate universe Grizel. It was a beautiful city, almost like the Emerald City, like from Oz, shining bri brightly. It was occupied by the Army of Darkness. Gunderflas was used by Jared as the correct answer to one of his riddles. What's the capital of Denundergrund? Zack once jumped into a river and found himself in Gunderflas, and it was beautiful before the ar army of darkness swarmed and killed him. That is legit all we know about Gunderflas. All right, that's it. That's it. HMB Tiger Game says, Zack, you should check the levels channel in PCG Discord. It's very crazy. Is it, though? Is it very crazy? I'm skeptical of this claim. Thad's Clean Rose says, hey, eight likes. Sweet. Thank you, folks. Um, but yeah, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I was gonna, um, I was gonna try and see if I could, like, figure out what happened to that comment that disappeared. Are there any helps for review? No. But where's that one by um by what's his face? Weird. Hi, I want to include a short clip where I list through a few pages of Balzac Lobotron. It's only 12 seconds and I don't see any spoilers. Can I include it? I think you own the copyright on, but I can't respond to it. That sucks. Well, let me go to his um, YouTube. Spell Forces RPG. Epic World says I'm getting tired. Bad Clamor says, all right, PCG later. All right, thanks so much for joining, you guys. You guys are the best, as always. And, uh, yeah, peace, definitely PCG later. Have a good night, folks. Um... Oh, why well, I failed my all my projects. Can I like comment on this? Get out of my face. Um In this video, I'll show you why I couldn't finish any of my last projects, but I will finish this one. This project is called Spell Forest Adventures and it's just the same as my last project. So, what's the sense? First, I want to talk about my last project called Spellforce RPG. It's the same game that I'm making right now, and it was just adventures, rules, and all those stuff. So, what's wrong with wait, it? Wait, 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 also, wait, 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 hold on a second. Is that a Triptosian? <laughs> Is that a Triptosian? Probably not, but I think it would be really cool if that was a Triptosian. Proceed. And I tried to make an APG TCG hybrid, and they also. Right. RPG, and I tried to make an APG TCG hybrid, and they also TCG hybrid, and I tried to make an APG TCG hybrid. Did you say RPG P? Wait, did he say RPG TCG hybrid or PCG hybrid? PCGs don't have to be black and white. And they also failed. And what's so cool about Spellforce RPG? It is the same. So if this game failed, why this time it will not fail? First, look at the artwork. First, I draw with the pencil, then with the liner, and then I color it. It's very long process. It takes like two or three hours. It's a really good scene, so maybe it's why. This is a really good point. Like, if you don't color it, it takes less time. If it takes less time, you can get it out. And my advice to you is if you can get a game out, get the game out. I mean, Epic Worlds PCG over here has been freaking amazing, um, making so many PCGs in such a short amount of time. Most people I've seen come into the community can't really do that. They like, you know, they get they start out super ambitious, like, oh, I'm gonna make like this PCG, I'm gonna make that PCG, but then like they don't have the motivation to actually make that much. It's better to just get started. If you can get something out, do it. You know. But anyway, yeah. I work on the art a lot. I think I will need 
like 50 hours for all this project for only drawings. Also, I spend a lot of time on panels and gorgeous boss battles. It's also very good because it's more interesting for the players. I got a lot of inspirations from paper computer games. Oh, hey! Um, check the oh, hey! This channel out, it's called just paper computer games, but it's black and white and it's very bad for my game because I take inspiration. And now I start to take inspiration from another sources, like popular RPGs, and maybe it will make my art better. I mean, PCGs are very interesting to play, but art isn't amazing. Check out my other videos on this channel called Spell for Yep. Well, this is cool. First of all, let's give it a like. Second of all, let's uh, comment on that. Um. Well, this is really cool. I have things to say. One, um, thanks so much for the shout out. Two, um, Bads says, Oh man, I haven't made a video on Mech on Mecha Zuvac yet, so I know what's gonna be my next video. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Mecha Zuvac, I love that idea. Um, HMB says I'm getting tired. Bye. All right. Have a good night, HMB Tiger. Thanks for joining. Um, two. Thanks so much for the shout out. Um. That purple alien looks a lot like the Triptosian species from my paper computer games um let's let's put a link in there as well any chance they're related I think that would be cool. Um, in case you don't know what a Triptosian looks like, you can see them here. on the PCG wiki here. Three. By the way, see you later, refrigerator. <laughs> By the way, I saw your comment on my video asking for permission to use a clip of my video of uh, one of my PCG videos for s some reason I can no longer uh, wait for some reason it won't let me post a response to that comment, but you, but please, but you can use the clip. Thanks for asking, and feel free to do so anytime in the future. Okay, Via says, 
You teach them what a Triptosian looks like. Yeah, that's right, Via. That is right. Here are, uh, this is a Triptosian, you guys. This is a Triptosian. It's like a purple alien. This is a bad example. It's got like, um, it's like a 3D modeled version, but like Matak Roshi Veg is like probably the best example. Um, this is a Triptosian. He's, uh, yeah, this purple alien with like lots of little tentacles. Although this one isn't colored in, but you know, yeah, they are supposed to be purple. Um, and yeah, Via says basically you're giving this person a response now, so I am. Okay, so yeah, let's see. What else? What what other new subscriber? Ice Storm. Thank you, Ice Storm. Not a robot commented sudden death. Let's see, what other comments we got? Um Sketchy Penguin comments and everything is soup. Oh my god. That's just on my post of um <laughs> I had to I had to share this food theory video w w in which he makes a theory that coffee is actually soup. <laughs> and and uh yeah, Sketchy Penguin says everything is soup. No. Someone says the list goes on and on. You can't escape attack and embrace the soup. No. Uh, good times. Via says, yeah, Tritosian and animated on the Insta. True. Yes, Via has made animated versions of the Tritosi well, of one of the Tritosians on the PCG Instagram, which y'all should check out if you haven't already. It's called Paper Computer Games. It's on Instagram. Um, yeah, let's see what other comments we're getting. Golda, wait. Yeah, Golda commented, Promo SM, Angry Face. What does that mean? <laughs> what, is that like an ad? What, what, what's, it's a highlighted comment, too. What does that mean? Who is this Golda person? This person doesn't have any videos. Oh, promosm.com, though. It is an ad thing, though. Okay. All right. Whatever. I don't care. Um, It's been a while. I was working for one sec. Definitely one of my favorite videos on this channel. Uh, That would be your favorite. Oh, good times. Oh, hey, Susie. How's it going? Welcome. Um, yeah. So I think it might just be out of, out of stuff to do. I'm also getting tired myself here. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to do more streams again in the future. Bad's Claymore says it's a comment bot. Yeah, I think so. Susie says, hey, you looking good tonight? Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm detuned paper. I hear, I'm hearing some cool stuff is going on with detuned world um, soon. Like, I, oh, yeah, like, sorry, I, like, my brain fogged for a second there. I mean, like, specifically, I think there's going to be, like, well, maybe I shouldn't say. Maybe I shouldn't say. I, I, I've gotten some advanced uh, spoilers as to what might be in Detuned World Islands. Um, But, yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty cool. 
Um, so yeah, I guess that might be a good time to end the stream because like my brain is definitely fogging and without like a ton of people commenting, it's like this whole thing just like grinds to a halt. So I'm thinking that might be, oh wow, check out that, oh, okay, okay. We actually have the most people right now, we have five. All right, but yeah, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll, I guess I'll end the stream. We've been doing this for a while. We've been doing this since like, what, like 1040. So it's been almost two hours. I think that's a good stream. I think it's a solid stream. We managed to pull together a stream out of, out of the ashes of, I don't know, of like the other stream that it might've been. All right, then see you later, alligator. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, more stuff to come in the future and PCG later.